Welcome to Photoshop with Marjorie Taylor Green and uh, Pagans, also with some potato salad. This is your time traveling host, Victor. And uh, I already Photoshopped this one because when I was doing this tutorial uh, earlier, I did not record the right window. So I all screwed up and I have to do it again. So I guess I will do another Photoshop of Marjorie Taylor Green, Pagans, and uh, potato salad. But that's, that's the joke, son, as they say. So you can see what I started with actually was that uh, this pagan picture here in the background. But we have a few other options here that we can go to. He's already integrated in. We'll, we'll see how the new version of this comp, uh, composition comes on since uh, what we we'll go. You know what? Let's use this one then. This could be just this is effective and, and just as funny. So we'll use that. But we're going to use the assets from our other pick here. This might be a much quicker tutorial than the other one, but that's OK. Uh, here. We've got Marjorie Taylor and we've already masked her. So I built a mask when I screwed up earlier. And of course the potato salad is also on separate layers and masked. So we've got to bring all that over. So we're going to do window arrange and we're going to do it. Let's say doesn't really matter that much, but I'm going to do two up vertical. And then that way we've got our images and then we need obviously the right images in each one of these windows. So there's our pagan girls. Let's just slap them over here for right now. Great, now we've got Marjorie here. I could merge these layers, but I kind of want to maintain them all separately. So I'm just going to shift select them and move them all at once. Could have also made a smart object, but again, not going to do it. Now Marjorie's much, much bigger. You can see the other picture is probably a better base picture simply because it was larger, but we'll scale her down. Let's consolidate all the tabs and get to the work. Command zero, uh, I'm going to zoom that out a little. You can see how big Marjorie is compared to the Pagans. Uh, so we need to shrink her and the potato salad down. They're still shift selected, so I can just scale it all together. And then, uh, all right, that's pretty good. Now we've got Marjorie right here. And she's in between the pagans. That, that you know, I like that. I really, I almost like that better than the first one. So let's. Sometimes you do it twice, sometimes you get a better result. The whole goal is to do it, you know, quickly too. We're trying to do these all in 10 or 15 minutes, although the Patton Oswalt tutorial took 19. Uh, so that's the original photo that we got the composition out of. Not that it matters. I also took off the Kelly Loeffler sticker there because I, she's just a, <laughs> she's insignificant and does not matter. And I, I certainly don't want to give her any press. Originally, we have this family here, which is who I believe Marjorie stole the uh, potato salad from. Uh, I, I, again, do not know that I have to integrate them into the other picture, but since we got a lot of time, let's see if we can. And then we can decide if we like it or not. Let's see, that one is 17. And then it's probably also sometimes a good idea to uh, name and number your layers and windows, but we're doing this quick. So let me turn that off. I need to kind of visualize what I want uh, do I, because it, 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 all right, they're gonna be in the water if I'm not careful here, but I guess we can, we can work with this maybe as a background. Let's see if we put them like up here and we scale them, if we make them smaller like that, then maybe we can integrate them into the background here. I don't know if that works at all. We'll we'll see. But for one thing, obviously, I now I'm gonna have to mask out the pagans and everything. But what I'm gonna do right now, just real quickly, is let's see if it's even gonna worth bothering. Let's grab, let's zoom in. That's terrible to work that small. We're gonna grab the family, the picnic basket. That background piece is fine because I actually for this one want to integrate the whole background in and so we can just be super sloppy here and just get this whole edge. But I also want the tree because if I'm going to be able to pull it off, it will need that tree to do it. And a little bit of this grass down here, not too much. Bob Ross would say a happy tree amount. All right, good enough. Let's mask that shit. Okay. Now, See, eh, 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 I don't know. 
I'm not sold, but we're gonna paint out. getting better. Let's just at least bring the whole pagan head back in and see if we can. How that looks, well, I don't know, maybe that'll work. The whole idea is, of course, we're trying to integrate into two pieces. We could do way better than this, but we're not going to. Again, mask work, it's kind of, I, we give up at some point. I guess that works. Now here, we're gonna bring back a little of this here, like that. And then I'm going to try a little trick to just muck with, the, again, right here. We could like go in, we could grab some of the background. We could kind of integrate in that to, mask it over if we were trying to be really, really fancy. Let's go to the background here for a second. And then I'm gonna shift select this grass. I can go get grass from another photo too, but that would take more work. And what I'm really trying to do again is integrate these two pieces. I, I really don't know why it was fine without this, but we're committed. So there we go. Kind of do that. And I hate that completely, as you can see. Uh, maybe take that, slap it above the entire layer, and then like that, maybe. And then we, oh, we'll just use our eraser. We're just going to slot this into it. Once we start to break up the edges, oops, that's not even bad. The eye doesn't really notice all that well. Now notice um, that's a separate layer. Now this layer that I spent more time on, now I'm on a mask. I'm using black again, that to bring it back or white again like that, we're painting it out. And you can see again, what we're doing right here with this nice little masking layer. All right. I could spend more time on that, but I'm not going to. Um, let's see here, because we're just doing a race right now. We're just purging that whole area. So again, that's why if this looks white here, well, when you're erasing, you're still painting black pixels. There you go. It could be like that too with the paintbrush. Uh, well, probably close enough. Let's zoom out. All right. So now Marjorie Taylor Green, the stolen potato salad from this family. And again, we've got a nice pagan ritual going here. I still feel like though, when I'm looking at the uh, other one, is it this guy? No, let's get rid of that one. We don't need it. Let's throw that one away. We're not gonna do this again if we screw it up. What about, it was first 18, where is, there he is. I want him in this picture so bad. Okay, I could go here and mask him, but I think in this one we'll, select him and copy him and drop him in and then we'll mask right in the other image there we go let's paste and uh, all right let's scale him down he, he looks much bigger in this image than he did previously uh we had a lot more resolution to work with in our other picture but this will still do any of that here you see i'm just rough scaling and then i'm gonna use that little link right there I assume that's fine. Now let's shrink him. And then. There is a method now to my madness on that background here, which you will see. Want the pagan guy? We don't want this background, so let's kill those little examples there. We want the stick, the stick, more stick, all the stick. Photoshop usually eventually figures all that out pretty well. Now, I don't want the bottom, I just want the stick. 
and you'll see why in just a second. Huh? But I want as much of this weird background as possible up to a level. Photoshop will suddenly figure out what I'm doing here and then it'll, uh, there we go, see, it there with the example that we want. It'll eventually edge there and we'll, I'm by the way, holding down the option key on the keyboard and that makes this subtract from selection right here. So I don't have to go up there and change that all the time. I drive me crazy. And then you let go of it and then it's back to add. And we, again, this all sucks. This should have, it should have disappeared all this without me going through this many clicks. I'm probably getting close to my tutorial time already on this one. Let's see what we get. Now. We can we can paint the rest of that out. I'm bored now. Let's do that. Oh Jesus, that's a terrible mask. Head. All right, got the head, but now we don't. We want this. I, you'll see why I want the background in there. Let's see. Is that that's fine. Just because I'm gonna integrate in here, here. Yes, again, that seems correct enough. Now let's fix all of this real quick. On the masking layer again. <laughs> Just gonna paint it in that background. Oops, I cut off a horn, but we can paint it back in. That's the beauty of using a masking tool. We just switch the color back. We didn't lose that horn really at all. We just zoom in. Oh, I mean, we just. Back in that shit, and then we'll fix it. There we go. We need to paint all this back in anyway. So, yeah. all right. Now, we're gonna use the magic wand. Good. Then we're gonna paint black. Get all that up here. I'm not even gonna magic wand this one. I'm gonna classic shift key. Fix that up. Good enough. Honestly, I don't care that much that his head is translucent, but somebody out there might. Let's clean all that up. That way, we got kind of an integrated Photoshop here. Uh, you'll see me going to a bigger brush and looking for any artifacts like that. And then he's missing his arm, which obviously is going to make this harder to sell. So let's integrate the arm in. There's an arm. Put your boob. Don't put your boob. Okay. Careful. I don't want to erase your boob either. So it's 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 a trick. Okay. That's pretty good. All the boobs back in. Now it's the damn it's the damn staff. So now good enough. We're now kind of the staff. Uh, 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 I, I can, I'm just going to clean up that edge of the titch. And then here, I'm going to make my brush about the size of this thing. And then try to figure out where it ends like that. Can you see I'm just bringing it down to the waterline that way? This is like classic green screen problem. You can see the green edges around it, but there we go. It, it works okay because the other background is green. Here, this is sloppy. That would never, like, again, that would never sell if we were trying to sell it, not just having a fun Photoshop. And um, I assume that his feet are in the water. So I'm not gonna do the feet. There we go. So now we have uh, done a, our next Photoshop, which is again, Marjorie Taylor Green. Let's command zero that. 
uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, and Potato Salad and Pagans. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. I uh, hope you'll give our podcast a listen. Time travel is cheaper than therapy. Thanks. We're going to now export it, by the way, and then uh, save it, and then we'll post it.